All right, guys. So this is where we are. This is our Tech Apps final project, and it's going to be a big one. Um, it's going to take us three weeks to complete. But I think by the end of the project, you are going to realize just how much you've learned in this class throughout the year. So let's get started. Here is the first slide. Okay, it gives you the directions. You should be uh, you should be watching this right here to give you an idea of how to do this. But um, that's that's a short video on that. For each slide, you're going to watch the vid every slide. The first thing you're going to do is watch the video for that slide. And once you've watched the video, you'll follow the instructions in the gray areas. These are the gray areas over here. All this area over here that's on the either side of the slide, okay? So you've got to watch this. Focus on one slide at a time, okay? Don't start one slide and then go to another one. Get each slide finished and then you can go on to the next one. You can do them in whatever order you want. Um, I would do them in order if I were you. Okay. Um, the next slide says to view the slideshow correctly, you got to do these things. Okay. If you don't have these things done, you might not see a lot of the stuff that's in the gray area. Okay. So first of all, no full screen. So make sure you're not in full screen. A hundred percent zoom. So you use control plus or control minus to zoom just like this. Okay. And make sure you're at a hundred percent. Okay. And then go to view zoom fit. So right up here, you go to view zoom and click on fit. Okay, mine's already there. So let's get to our first slide. All right, digital citizenship. Okay, the first thing you should do is watch the video for this slide. Click here, follow the link, and all of them are very short videos because it's only the one for that slide. So this one's so like we are 25 on the digital seconds si long. Okay, but you should always watch the video first. Okay, then you can read kind of information here. Here are some directions over here of what to do. Um, click here for an image of the poster if you need it, okay? So that's how you complete this one. I think that slide will be really easy for you, okay? The next one is called email etiquette. One more time. First, watch the video instructions for the slide by clicking here and watching the video instructions, okay? It'll lead you through the directions. You're going to be composing an email using the etiquette guidelines that we learned earlier in the semester. See the gray area on the other side of the slide. So here we go. You would click this image for the guidelines. You might remember these. We used these as guidelines for how we should type up our emails. Okay, so you're gonna type up a really well-worded email using those guidelines, but don't send it, okay? Look at number two, take a screenshot of your email. Don't send it and then insert it on the slide, okay? So you'll take a screenshot, insert it right here, all right? All right. The next one is for Google Slides. And since we're doing this whole thing on Google Slides, we're just going to keep on moving. Animation. Create a stop motion animation in Google Slides about whatever you want. Okay. So here's the thing. You might have to go to these links to remind yourself how we did that. Okay. You can click this one, stop motion animation using Google Slides. How to, get link, how to get link to stop motion animation and linking your images, okay? You might have to go back and watch those little videos for how to do this, okay? Once you have created the stop motion animation, okay, you're gonna insert an image on this slide that represents your animation story. It can be any image, and then you're gonna link that image to your animation, okay? Once again, you can come over here and see how to get the link to your stop motion animation and linking images in Google Slides, all right? All right. The next one is audio video, okay? You are going to be creating a webcam recording, a screen recording, and a podcast recording, okay? So what I have you doing here first in directions is doing a webcam recording first of anything you want, okay? Your favorite things to do in the summer, whatever you want, okay? When you're done, you'll click finish. This is in WeVideo, okay? When you're done, you'll click finish, save as HD, and then Google Drive, like we always have before. And then you're going to go get that link from your Google Drive folder, okay, and link this image right here to your webcam recording, okay? Then you're going to go and re repeat those steps to do a screen recording and to do a podcast recording, okay? Here are videos over here on how to, okay, how to do all of the things that you need to do. All right. Uh, next slide. First, watch this video, okay, on the slide to see what to do. Go to Google My Maps, create a My Map of your dream vacation. Take a screenshot at the end and then insert that screenshot right here, okay? Link the screenshot to your My Map 
right over here is a tutorial of how to do it, of how to do Google My Maps if you forgot, okay? So that's what you're gonna do for Google Maps. Google Earth, here are the instructions. Click here to read the instructions for this page. Click on the image here, okay? And then follow it. And you're gonna complete this quiz. It's, it's a Google Voyager quiz like the one we did earlier in the year, okay? What you're gonna do is at the end of the quiz, you're gonna take a screenshot of the page that comes up when you complete the quiz and put that screenshot here. You'll delete this and put the screenshot here. And that's it. Here's how to take a screenshot if you forget. On to Google Sheets, you're gonna click on this image to open the assignment, okay? And you are gonna follow the directions on this assignment to create a Google Sheets, okay? Um, you're gonna be making a quick, making some calculations about tickets, sales, popcorn, and snacks, okay? So click here for the link and you'll know what to do if you just follow the directions, all right? When you have finished that Google Sheet, okay, you are gonna replace this image, you'll delete this image and replace that image with a screenshot of your Google Sheet right here, all right? Okay, slide 11, okay, you're gonna click here for the video instructions as always, okay? What you're gonna do is click on the image to open the assignment. Here we go again, here's another assignment for you today. And this assignment is gonna lead you through creating an address, a Google form for an address book, okay? Here are all the things that you'll need. You can click here for an example form. So you will be creating an address book, okay? You'll take this image and delete it and replace that image with a screenshot of your Google form right here, all right? Next one, Google Drawings. What you're gonna do is click here for the assignment, follow it, all right? And here is what you're gonna do. You are going to be designing a t-shirt for field day, okay? Follow these instructions very closely with how to design the t-shirt and how to save it as a PNG, okay? When you have designed your t-shirt, you're gonna come back here, delete this image here, and replace it with your PNG file of your t-shirt, all right? Next one, Google Docs. This one's interesting, okay? Once again, watch this video first. But then what you're gonna do is type a paragraph in Google Docs about your summer plans. So you're gonna to need to create a new, a new Google Doc and type a paragraph, okay? But here's the thing, okay? You will need to follow the requirements on the right, okay? You're gonna to have to show me in the paragraph how you can do all of these different things in Google Docs, okay? Show me how you can use different fonts Show me bold, show me italic, show me underline, show me how you can change text color, show me some highlighting, link a word to an outside uh, URL, add a comment, insert an image, center align some of it, and double space some of it. Show me those things in your paragraph, right? So once you've typed your paragraph, and then you've gone and followed these requirements, you're going to take a screenshot of your Google Doc and put it on this slide. All right. On to research and fake news. Um, we used Snopes, PolitiFact, and factcheck.org to check out things that are real and not real on the internet, okay? What you're gonna do here is simply choose an article from one of those websites. So you can click Snopes, you can click PolitiFact, or you can click factcheck.org, read through, choose an interesting article, and then what I want you to do is simply here, okay? You'll double click and start typing, okay? Write a summary paragraph of your article on this box. Tell me what you learned about, um, about something, that, about your article. All right? All right. Google Sites, you are going to create a website. We created a digital portfolio this year. This time, you're going to create a website for a fake company. Okay? Just make up a company. Here are the requirements right over here. Okay? You need an overall theme, and then you need these pages on your website. You'll need a homepage, about us, photos, and contact us. Okay, so re follow those requirements and then enter an image on this slide and link it to your website. Okay, so you're going to enter any image you want. Okay, maybe it has to do with your business. Okay, and here's how to get the link to your website. Just follow this instructions. All right. All right. Coding. Once again, watch the video instructions for the slide first. You're, you're going to sign into Scratch. You're going to go under the tutorial under the ideas link you're going to do the make it spin tutorial okay when you're done you're going to insert a screenshot of your project here and then link that screenshot to the actual project okay all right history of technology 
you're going to write a paragraph about the invention you think has been the most important from this slideshow. So you'll have to click this slideshow and open it. And you'll remember it because we um, we used this in class. OK, so this slideshow was the one where we saw all kinds of different things be invented. OK, you choose any of these inventions that you think were the most important, which I know that's kind of subjective or that's kind of uh, relative to what people's opinions are. But you tell me which one you think is most important. OK, right here okay, is where you're going to click double click to type your paragraph about the one you think is most important and why. And then I want you to insert an image right here that goes with your paragraph. So let's say you think the telephone was the most important. You're going to type up all about it here and then go find an image of a telephone and put it here. All right. Technology concepts. This is going to be kind of a double assignment here. It says here, click each image to make a copy of each of the two assignments. You're going to complete the assignments and then you're going to give me a screenshot of each completed assignment here. OK, for example, let's say I click on computers and the Internet and then I go make a copy. And what you're going to do is complete this assignment right here. OK, you're going to come here and you're going to say, OK, attachment, which of these should be attached? Let's say, number one, I can send you an email message if you send me your what? And you're going to go through here and decide which one it is. For this one, we know it's going to be if you send me your email address, right? So that is going to be for number one. OK, number one is the one that email address should go in. OK, then go to number two and figure out which word goes there and put number two in it and so on. OK, when you're done, you're going to need a screenshot of this. The best way to get a screenshot of the whole thing is going to go into print mode by clicking on print and see how it gives you the whole thing. Then you can do your screenshot app or your screenshot on your do what you're supposed to do as a screenshot for your uh, Chromebook. Take the screenshot. OK, and this screenshot should be in your downloads folder. And what you're going to do is go and take this guy out and put your screenshot right here. OK, then you're going to click on this one and do the same thing. It's another assignment. OK, same thing. Complete the assignment. Take a screenshot of it. OK, here's the assignment. Complete the assignment. Take a screenshot of it. Come and take this guy out and put your screenshot here. So I should see a screenshot of both completed assignments here. All right. All right, on to the next one, final one, CLAM, okay? For our CLAM lessons, what I want you to do is open the CLAM synopsis sheet by clicking here. You'll remember this synopsis sheet from our CLAM uh, quiz. Here are the ones that we did, okay, this year, all right? I want you to just go through and read each one and remember what they were each about. And then what I want you to do is choose the lesson you think impacted you the most, the one that sticks out in your memory the most. The one that made you kind of think about things, okay? And so what I want you to do is when you choose it, type the title of it here. From here, type the title, whichever one it was. And then I want you to type a paragraph here. Explain how this lesson impacted you. Tell me why you chose it and how it made you change some things in your life or how it made you think about some stuff, okay? And finally, you will submit this slideshow. When all of your slides are done and you feel good about it, you're going to submit this slideshow in Canvas using the uh, Google Drive tab. Okay? If you can't remember, just click here and you can watch a video about how to submit things. So that's that, guys. We have had a great year. I think you guys have done amazing. Um, I'm proud of you. And this is your final project. So do your best job. Sanchez out.